right, guys. Ian Anderson, Ben Baker, Central Coast Disc Golf. We are back for the final nine holes of the Twin Falls Classic. We got Yuli with a one-stroke lead over Mason Fultz, which has been an absolute battle. I think they've been one stroke separated for the last 18 holes, Ben. That's insane. As far as battles goes, it doesn't get much better. Yeah, sign me up, man. Uh, what's the plan on hole 10 here, man? Uh, basically lay it on the front side of that hill. Uh -huh. um, if you go over it and left, you're OB. So um, you want to you want to miss short is what you're yeah, saying. Miss short, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this guy looks like a good person. Yeah, Brandon Allen just hooking up that, all the locals all, and everybody uh, came to play. Oh, that's a lot of this man. That guy doing work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Paul playing the Heiser, hoping to drop it in just short of that ridge line. Got to get down, but it does. That's yeah, great shot. That looked fantastic. Uh, Chris Lemieux is going to offer the forehand. Got to play along this ridge line, but that's going straight at the gallery. Oh, heads up. Oh. And Man, just what a worm burner. its way all the way to the OB. Man, an, an inch lower, and I think that thing stops. Yeah. You know? It was cutting grass for sure. It really was. I got Patrick Blazak here. Fantastic dude. Oh, my God. Right under the basket. And then skip rolls OB. Ah, brutal, man. Margin for error is very small in this one. Yeah. If you go long, you're going long. Yeah. Yeah, Mason Fultz. That was a great drive. Yeah, absolutely. Laid it right on top. Very mm -hmm. close. Needs that one to keep pace with Paul as close as he is. Yeah. And Al Alex reaching for his trusty harp. No doubt or that thing will get down. Yeah, it will. He'll be throwing Innova this year. Yeah, that's an exciting change. Yeah. Hope that works well for him. I'm sure it will. He's a fantastic disc golfer. Yeah, it's Alex. I'm sure he'll be great, whatever yeah. he throws. Yeah, he'll figure it out. Yeah. But we got Chris Lemieux coming back for his par saved after the OB drive, but that will turn into a four, it looks like. Uh, Patrick, same fate. Well, got a chance. Oh. Uh, yep, that will also turn into a four. Yeah. Uh, Alex, kind of a scary bit here for the two. Definitely. Uh, well, safe. Yep. Yep. That'll par at least. Uh, Paul looking for a bird, trying to stretch that lead, or at least keep it at one. Good putt. That it was. Clutch and putt. No. I mean, Mason's in a better position here. If he fades left on his putt, he's not going to be going OB. Yeah, well put. And, you know, if Paul just airmailed that, he is heading for the OB. Yeah, easily could have rolled over there. Yeah. But here is Mason keep within one stroke of Yuli. Dead center. Yeah. And we will have a bogey drop in for Chris and a, a par for uh, Mr. Russell here. Hmm. Oop. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> it, it all worked out, though. Yep. Thankfully, uh, there is your one-stroke lead maintaining for Paul. Uh, Alex opening up a two-stroke lead with Pat dropping back with that bogey. Uh, Chris falling off a little bit as well, and we're looking at a whole 11, and this one is long, Ben. Yeah, super long now. It's 430 feet. Uh, that OB does ride the right side pretty much all the way out there. All right, Paul liking that hyzer line. This takes a huge arm to get there, though. Yeah, um, looks like the wind is pushing right to left, though, so hopefully he gets some carry, and wow, that thing does go places. He is down there. What a smash. Uh, Mason hoping to bite off a little bit more D with that flex line. And, yeah, that thing's sailing. Yeah, flying beautifully. Even so, I think Paul might have outdrove him with the hyzer. I think so. Alex going to play the flex as well. Ooh, cutting it tight, Ben. Yeah, I think that's if you really want to get around that tree there and halfway through the fairway, got to just force it over. I think he's like, where'd it go? <laughs> yeah, it's totally blind to the tee shot once you get yeah. past a certain point. It's up there, though. Uh, Chris playing for the forehand, which seems like it's probably not going to two, but it should make for a, a decently easy three. Good safe shot, yeah. I mean, you got lots of room to play with out there, so you can flex it and get quite a bit of distance. You're just not going to probably put it too close to the basket. Yeah, uh, Pat has that big pro power, takes that big pro hyzer line. Yeah, way out there, but the wind pushes it safely back in play. Nice. Uh, Chris opted for the forehand up here, trying to shoot this little gap. Ooh, don't do that. Oh, man. Just a little much finesse on it. It looks like the wind pushed it into the tree. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mason with a touchy little forehand up into this Velcro grass. Does so nicely. Yeah. And Chris is a long look for the par. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh, from way downtown. <laughs> that was tasty. Get some. Nice work, Chris, man. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Those are the kind of putts you watch like 20 times once, yeah. once the video comes out. <laughs> if I'm Chris, I'm watching that one a lot. Oh, yeah. Pat, got to want it, buddy. A little bit short there. And it looks like Alex from outside the circle for the two. Uh oh. Oh, front rim banger. And Paul, this has got to be a stroke on the field right here, Ben, right? I think so. I can't see many people hitting this one. No, what a two. And that will stretch his lead out. Yeah, excellent birdie. Mm -hmm. As Mason comes back and dropping in the three. Hopefully, anyway. It's a little gusty out here, no gimmies. Yeah, yeah. Important to take your time on those. It even kind of got a pull bounce. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, Alex and Pat dropping in some pars. Not as exciting as Chris's par, but they'll take it. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Also less stress, though. True. Which is a very good thing. Uh, there is Paul with that, too. Takes that lead out to two over Mason. Uh, Alex holding on to two over Pat. Uh, Chris lurking, and we are on to hole 12. What a tricky-looking hole here, man. Yeah, you got a real tiny landing strip here between the OB path long and the creek short. And just two small gaps, either the tight forehand flex or the big hyzer. Okay. It's like Paul opting for that forehand flex. Late That's tree. Well done, yeah. Maybe a little assisted by the branch. Yeah, but not hating that at all. What's Mason doing here? Looks like he's going big hyzer. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Get it, Mason. Ooh. <laughs> and it bounces backwards, keeping him in bounds. Wow. Excellent. You'll, ta you'll take that one. Yeah. And Alex playing the harp. I don't see this one getting right to left enough. I mean, yeah, I think he might just be laying it up on front of the creek just to not have to challenge it. Although, oh, oh. he comes super close and he is safe just in front of the creek. <laughs> nice. And like I say, he does have a putt from there, so I guess that's a, that's a play. Yeah. Oh, cuts through the willows and, oh, oh man. Past the OB. Got clean when he didn't want it to get clean there at the end. Yeah. And Pat also going flex forehand. Will he hook up enough? Oh, little maybe branch assist there. And, yeah, it looks like he's pretty close to par. Yeah, I think he got around that bush at the end there. Really nice shot. Okay. Uh, so Alex with the across the creek elevated basket putt. Not a bad look for two, really. No, not at all. Yeah, almost. Almost got in there. And Paul for his two. Ooh. Oh, the step putt master. Really so deadly with those. Yeah, no doubter. Uh, Chris coming back for his par after the OB drive. That oh, got floaty no. on him, didn't it? Uh, yeah, it looked like just once the nose got up a little bit, it just shoved it up. Yeah. And uh, cut the flag off. Yeah. Uh, Mason keeping pace with Paul, though, maintaining the uh, a two-stroke deficit there. Uh, Patrick with a very nice birdie after a beautiful drive. Yeah. Uh, Chris with a four. Alex with a three. And a flag. <laughs> and the flag for is Chris. there. For Chris. And, yep. I mean, oh. you're not going to be able to stick it up on the top. No. You're you're ten know. feet tall. And there it goes <laughs> down again. <laughs> or you golf with a step ladder or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just take one around with you the whole round. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> oh, that would be kind of nice for filming, though, you think, you know? Just, like, throw it up behind the tee box and you can film over their heads. As long as someone else carries it, it's yeah, too yeah. much work. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you there, man. Yeah. All right, hole 13. Not well, easy looking here either. No, 440 and pretty tight landing strip for a 400-foot hole. Yeah. Oh, Gusty. this is trouble. Better hit something. Yeah, that's hyzering right towards the creek. Oh. But Saved by the willow. Like he got shot down, yeah. Yeah, he'll, that he'll take that one. <laughs> did not cause him to weep. It did not, thankfully. Uh, Mason's just going to go over the top of everything because he can, throwing a big old tomahawk. Yeah, why not, right? Oh, yeah. Jeez, if I could throw that, I especially would every time. Yeah, especially when you don't want to hyzer into the, the creek or anything. It kind of takes that out of it, just playing playing lawn darts yeah. with Mason Fultz. Jeez, 400 plus feet on that overhand. So beast. Pat needs a, a willow hit, too. Oh, man. Oh. Again, false advertising. That willow is not making anyone weep. No, it's 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 friendly. Uh, Alex playing the forehand. I like this line over here. Yeah, it's nice and clean, kind of a safe approach. And yeah. he plays it just about to perfection. Yeah, you're probably not getting a birdie unless you're like silver lat or something, but <laughs> right. it'll it'll par. And Chris, oh get right. Get right. Move. Oh, oh. Got, 
the At water least he skipped in on the right. Yeah, he was coming back about 250 feet. If he didn't get that uh, that touch in bounds over there as as Brock Shepard gets his disc out of the water. <laughs> nice. What a guy. Good man. Yep. Yeah, you're right. I mean, because it's the last time it crossed over the right side of the creek. So yeah. yeah, that would have been way back there. And Pat with a really tough looking second shot here. But I love the big forehand Anheuser line, and yeah, hits some branches and falls to a place where he's got a putt for par. Yeah, really well done. And Paul, this might be even tougher. The low ceiling. Yeah. What? No. <laughs> How did that happen? The crowd approves whatever happened, though. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and that's the smile of a man who knows he got away with one right there. Definitely. I think we should see this <laughs> one more time in slow-mo. He just ramps it off the, like, the, the roots right here, right? Yeah. Slowing down and then speeding up off the root. And wow. And then hits the next tree to slow down. That's just perfect. And it's well planned. Uh, Alex with a harp up shot, low ceiling, little short, but that'll putt for par. Yeah. What? <laughs> what happened there? Man. A ghost? Stra straight up wind shear, man. Whoop. Oh, my gosh. That thing just got smacked down. Oh, man. He had, like, the opposite luck of Yuli. He did, didn't he? After yeah. a way better drive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hope we can save par at least, though. And that one got oh, smacked down, man. too. Just like an inch slow. Oh, you can see the tailwind on the flag, though, can't you? Right. It's yeah, definitely yeah. present. Oh, I got uh, Pat, too. Yeah. And down he goes. <laughs> <laughs> down goes Blazik. <laughs> uh, that was a nice par save from Alex. Uh, Chris coming back for his four. Nicely done after that drive. And Yuli taking advantage. You know, did not think we were going to see a stroke swing that way after those drives, Ben. No, absolutely not. You think of anything, Mason's getting one on Paul, but it turned out to be the, the opposite there. Yeah. Wow. That could be the nail in the coffin. Mason's going to have to fight his way back now. He really is. Wind, man. It's a hell of a thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there is that... Uh, Three-stroke lead now for Paul with Mason slipping back. Uh, Alex also with, two, or sorry, with two strokes over Pat. And hole 14, I uh, just got to worry about that OB Creek again. Yeah, basically, yeah. There is that path on the right also. Um, oh, okay. Pretty hard to go around that with the hyzer. Most people are just going to try to thread the gap up the middle and hopefully stay in bounds and give themselves a putt. Right on. Paul? Maybe yeah. a little extra safe on that one. Yeah, it looked like it, right? Yeah. Alex, you know he's attacking, though. Yeah. A little more Pretty. straight at it, and that should give him a good birdie look. Yeah. Safe with a, a two opportunity. And Mason's going to play lawn darts. Yeah, at this point, he's got to play aggressive if he wants to win. Oh, yeah. And, wow. Gosh, with his overhand, though, it's not that dangerous of a hole, you know? <laughs> no, I mean, the danger is going long, I guess. Yeah, right. And he does. <laughs> he, he did, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Pat with a nice little flip up forehand. It's fading a little more than you want, but it's over there. Oh, tree assist. Yeah, yeah. Pin high. And uh, Mr. Lemieux. Uh oh, Ooh. that's got a lot of Annie on it. That oh, he hits that tough, but it looks like he did not stay up. Stay in, yeah. Yeah. So here is his third. That's a little low go. Uh oh. It's going to be a tough putt for four. Paul, a little half go for the bird. Ooh, good run. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris trying to save bogey. That's an unfortunate five. Yeah. Alex for two. Wow. Nice putt. Yeah, that was just pure dead center putt. Yeah. Could, couldn't be much better. Uh, Mason, opportunity here for him to gain a stroke on Paul, coming back for his birdie. <laughs> and he does just that. Body English effective. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Pat finished pin high right. Ooh. Sneaks it in. Betty, betty, sneaky. Yeah. Nice, too. Uh, Paul needs this for the par save. No prob there. Yeah. 
And uh, Chris will be dropping in an unfortunate five. Uh, that one hurts. I'm sure it's not one you plan to, to do that one on. Definitely not. Yeah. There are definitely harder holes out there, but sometimes they get you. Yeah. Uh, some really nice birdies there from Mason, Alex, and Pat. Uh, Mason get within two of Paul now. Definitely not out of it yet. And uh, hole 15 is on deck. A uh, huge hole here, 435, and that basket is just probably about 15 feet right of the OB, way the heck out there, under some tree limbs. Tough two. That it is. Uh, Alex opting for the backhand. See if we can get it all the way there. Uh-oh, that's going left early, Ben. Oh, it's got Heiser already, and it's already cutting left. That's OB. Yeah, that w wind is not doing him any favors either. Not at all. Mason looks like a much safer line here. Yeah, nice and low, takes the wind out of play. Mm -hmm. Good good shot. Yeah, probably not going to par, but or sorry, birdie, but at least he should have a pretty easy par. Right. And Pat. That's looking great. Getting a little wind assist, and it's cruising. Sit, sit. Oh, under the basket and OB. It's second time in the last few holes that's happened to him. Yeah, that disc had no chill, man. No. <laughs> Yuli. Definitely not. Trying not to go OB here and make a mistake with the lead. Um, oh, but he does make a mistake. He's going to have he a does. long upshot from there. Yeah, yeah. at least it's not out of bounds, though. True. Yep. Uh, Chris with the flex forehand. I like this line here. You know, it's fading away from the OB at the end as long as you don't turn it over too much. Yeah, and he does just that. That's about as good of a forehand shot as you're going to see. Yeah, that was great. All 400-plus feet of it. Yeah, great power on that one. Uh, Paul, big upshot here. Makes... That's got to tuck under the willows, and it does. So also gets a skip roll to it. Yeah. Well played. Yeah, nice ground play there. Uh, Mason second, looking to just lay it under, take an easy par. But gets a hot skip, Ooh. and he is pinched behind that tree. That is not a great spot. Oh. Uh, Alex trying to save a par after the OB drive. Um, he's he's weeping uh, off those willow hits. Yeah. <laughs> Chris finished pin high right. This is for two. Oh. 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 Oh, my. oh wow. Stops just short. That was sketchy. And Mason, man, have you seen a more <laughs> awkward looking putt in a while? <laughs> Not recently, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. I Tough cannot... lie. Yeah, it really was. But did it to himself, you know. Yeah. Oh, bat. <sighs> oh, off the band. Ugh. Trying to save par, but that's going to turn into a four. Yeah, that hurts. It does. Uh, Chris saves par nicely. And Alex, looking for the four. There we go. Yeah, I think Pat probably saw an opportunity to make it close for third. And oh, true, and huh? To go, to, you know, a true birdogie right there. Yeah. Shoot, he almost had an ace and turned into a four. Yep. There is Mason with an unfortunate bug there. I'm sure he didn't see that one coming after the drive. It was in pretty nice par position. Uh, Paul does convert for par. He will get another stroke on Mason. Take that lead out a little bit longer. And Pat with the four. Almost saved the par after the OB drive, but not quite. Yeah. Well, I commend him for going for it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So there is that three-stroke lead for Yuli as Mason drops back one. Uh, Russell still holding on to two after Pat also bogeys. And hole 16. What are we doing here, Ben? Uh, tricky little route. Definitely a good forehand flex line, or there's kind of two different lines around that tree. Um, if I'm taking a backhand, you can kind of try to cruise around to the right of those last two. Uh huh. This looks great from Paul. Yeah, just a little more open on that left side. Mm -hmm. Plays plays good for a forehand. Yeah, his his flex forehand game is real strong. Yeah. As is this guy, Chris Lemieux. Hopefully, he can show it off. Wow. Good line. Maybe a little deep, but uh, that's really good. Yeah, it sure was. Alex, no stranger to a flex forehand either. And, yeah, ripping around that. Going to get a hyzer skip. Well, I think it's in a little pit there, so it was hard to see what happened. Yeah, maybe got a little bit of ground love, but not much. All right. Um, Mason uh, just oh. cannot afford to do that right now. Ah. Three left, three yeah. back. Really need to make a move here. And Pat, not enough Annie on that forehand. 
That'll mm-hmm. probably turn into a par. Yeah. So here is Mason's second. Throw it in, Mason. Ooh, it's got a shot. He was trying, wasn't he? Yeah, I think maybe at least a little bit. Uh huh. Here is Pat's second. Awkward look for the two. Oh my goodness! Oh, what a run, though. <laughs> yeah, flashing those chains. By the way, that is the car in the background that was won by the uh, amateur recipient. Oh, nice. Thirteen thousand dollar Fiat. Dope. Uh, Mason coming back for his par. Oh, you can't do that right now. Mm. Uh, Especially with Paul about to two, I believe. Yeah. Uh, ni- nice birdie from Chris. Yeah, great birdie. Really pretty drive there. Yeah. And here is Paul to stretch that lead out to almost insurmountable unless he really screws up. Right. Uh, Mason dropping in the bogue. Uh, Pat with a par and Alex with a par as well. Two holes left. Here we go. Yep. Let's see. I think Paul's lead is stretching out. Yeah, I just got the five. Yeah, at this point, Mason's probably getting a little, you know, a little down thinking he's out of it at this point. But, you know, miracles happen. Yep. At least he's got a lock on second, if nothing else. Yeah. Uh, where are we going on hole 17, Ben? <laughs> I guess Mason's going over the tree. It looks um, like it, right? <laughs> there is that roller line that we saw uh, Paul and Josh Flynn throw so well the first time around. Uh-huh. Um, otherwise, I just would not want to take my chances with that creek. No, it looks like Paul's got another roller lined up the way he's uh, approaching that tee box, and he's getting it down, but that's too much angle. A little much cut, but better than the opposite and rolling into the creek. That is very, very true. Good mistake. Yeah. Chris, kind of go forehand. This would be an incredible birdie if we can get it there. Sure. Yeah, bar. Yeah, great shot. I mean, mm-hmm. that should give him a pretty clean look for three, which is pretty good on this hole. Absolutely, not not losing strokes to to many people with a three on this one. No. Alex, was this? I guess I the... trying to take the Yuli line, and he ended up taking the Yuli line. He, he did, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> Copying him a little harder than he intended. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like Pat maybe line up a roller as well. Maybe he's kind of taking that angle. Nope. Nope. Air shot. Oh yeah. And a nice one. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Again, probably not a two, but probably not a four either. I mean, it seems like it's impossible to actually reach this going low. Doesn't it? Yeah. But he could just go high. <laughs> oh, my just, God. Just be a mason and throw a nasty overhand. You're right, Ian. That was a mason. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> just be a mason. Just do that. That was an amazing shot. Sorry. <laughs> there you, there I'm you done, go. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Alex's recovery. Oh, I think he caught a little tree there he didn't want on that second shot. Uh, Paul's second with an Annie forehand. Can he get it there? No. Oh. Cannot. Yeah. Might be looking at a four here. Uh, Chris, his second. Found some late lettuce. Mm. And Pat. Late lettuce, not as good as fresh lettuce. No. That's Alex. That was his third. Here is Paul's third. Oh, yep. yeah. Nice little bid, though. Yep. But he will be taking a bug, which he can't afford to do with a five-stroke lead now. And uh, Mason trying for the two there. That would have been incredible. Yeah. Chris cannot convert either. Uh, there's Alex with a bogey. Here's Pat with a par. I like Pat and Mason with the, uh, the only pars on this one. Tough hole. Yeah, it's very tough. I mean, you can see how close that OB is on the right. Sort of just all about setting yourself up for a second shot. Yeah. Unless you're Mason. And then, you're <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the two is actually a possibility. Right, yeah. Yeah. That would have been pretty sweet. Yeah. Got to get our boy J.C. Kester out here. Have a thumber off for a, an yeah. overhand. Off. Actually, because Mason likes the tomahawk, and J.C. loves the thumber. They could, they, could, they could settle it which one's better once and for all. I think that's, yeah, that's the plan right there. Yeah, let's, sign this, let's get this thing going. Yeah. All right. Paul has a four-stroke league going to our final hole, and uh, that's hole 18. 
500 foot par three this time. Uh, still got that creek looming on the right, parking lot on the left, and low ceiling. All right, let's see what they got for us. Well, hand, high fives and handshakes. Yeah, good job catching <laughs> this. I'm, I'm fantastic at missing that. I mean, that's what they've got for us, but also yeah. some shots. Yeah, let's let's see the shots. <laughs> yeah. Patrick leaking a little bit high, but staying mostly clean. Yeah, yeah, that should set him up pretty well. Mm -hmm. And here's another Mason Tomahawk. Ooh. It's Good up there. Lord. And there it is. So big. Yeah, you'll take that. <laughs> yeah. And wow. uh, Yuli. That's a guy who's trying not to go OB. Well, he might find the left, but I think he's going to be okay. Okay. He I'm surprised he went so aggressively at that, though, because he could have hit that branch real early. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yep. That four stroke lead should be all right. Uh, Chris, a little bit lower than he intended. Oh, turned Cut into a roll, thrower. But stayed. Yeah. Thrower. Yeah. <laughs> and Alex with the air shot backhand. That's, That's nice. Looking nice. Yeah. Good shot. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris is second. Still has some work left to do here. Just hyzering a little early on him. Yeah, it's a longer putt than you want for par, but it's there. Yeah. Alex, his second. And a nice little skip slide right under it. That is perfect. <laughs> 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 and here is Pat's second. Get over there. And another one right up to it, it looked like. Yeah, yeah that yeah. is beautiful. Great shot. And here is Paul hoping to park it for the win. Oh, no. that tree has other oh. ideas. <laughs> Mason, after another monster overhand. Ooh, Ooh. flirting with that trunk. Yeah. But that should par. There. Yeah. Not feeling bad about a three on this one, that's for sure. No. Oh, Chelsea Beck on the live stream. Very nice. Here's Chris Lemieux trying to save a par. No. And Yuli. To F seal it. FTW. No. <laughs> <laughs> he, just he just wanted to like, tap out last. Yeah. 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 He might have gotten honked on again. I wonder. Uh, that sucks. Those two it, are so dumb. It's so annoying. Yeah. Uh, Chris finishes with a bogey. Uh, Pat will be dropping it apart. <laughs> <laughs> Alex dropping in as well Letting Paul putt out last As does Mason And here is your Twin Falls Classic champ Oh, not yet Well, <laughs> okay, He can miss like that All two right, or three times in. There he's he is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice work Paul man Really put on a click Some great yeah. driving Some incredible putting That's kind of how Paul rolls Yeah Definitely. All around superstar and uh exciting to see what he'll do now that he's with Discraft. That's right, man. Everybody's throwing new plastic this year. It's just it's crazy. Yeah, big changes are yep. amidst. They they are. It's gonna be fun to watch. Uh in the meantime, hey, there's uh Mike Stradley, Larry Laub in the gallery. Wanna shout those guys out for all their help putting things together. Jade Sewell. I saw him over there, yep. Uh everybody in Twin Falls, uh shout out to Ben uh, Merslock helping me with second cam here in the final round. And, you know, my other helpers from before, Michael Vigil and Greg Shigihara. Everybody who helped uh, put this together. Thank you. Nice, man. Uh, there is your top ten. Brock fighting back. DJ Gilbert, Josh Newton having some uh, some nice final rounds there. Yeah. All around uh, great tournament. A lot of fun. Cool. All right, guys. Anything you want to say before we wrap it up, man? Uh, thank you, Twin Falls. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. Cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this one, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.